when you open this software up, you're going to have this window pull up. Now we shouldn't have to add any dyes or any tubing or anything like that to your software, at least here in our classroom. But I'm gonna go through how to add those just so in case your project has a certain tube or die required that isn't loaded into our library already. What we're gonna do is go into assembly. We're gonna start a new assembly. Once you've clicked that, it's gonna pull this window up. Before we do anything, add anything to whatever we're doing, we have to select our tube, the material to be used for the new parts, and the die to use for the new parts. The reason this is so important is once we get through all of our drawing and our editing, like for example, if I pull up this project, this is that drift track I had shown earlier. If we were to draw this entire project without these parts selected, then when we go to print our setup pack, our blueprint, it's going to tell you that parts or a part of your build was created without the correct material or die and it's not gonna print it and you'll have to go through and redraw or add your tubing to your blueprint with them selected. So it's really important. The first thing you do when you open that new assembly window is to go ahead and add your tubing and your die to your blueprint. So we're building that drift trike and we're gonna be using one inch round tubing. And on our tube bender, and this can change depending on what tube bender you're using, but ours is a three inch radius by one inch material. That's the way it's set up. You can go in when we add our tubing and dies and whatnot, you can change the name of these. On mine, I've just got it set up as three. Now for some features that your mouse can do. Um, first, we're gonna come over to pick points here. But this right here, this is our reference point. This is our home. Now, if you hold down on the right clicker, that is going to change the orientation of your TriStar, or, and it follows itself over here. Whatever you're doing right here, this is following. And that's with your right clicker. Now, this can be really confusing and like hard at first to even grasp what's going on. You can get lost. If that happens, up here at the top, you can click home and it'll send you right back home. Now your left clicker, that is just to click and select pick points, delete parts, things like that. And this scroll bar, wherever you are aiming is where it's going to zoom in if you scroll in and out. And if you click and hold on the scroll, it will grab your part and it will move it. And that's your mouse. Let's talk about the TriStar, this front, back, left, right, ceiling, floor. Okay, this is our X, Y, Z axis. Okay, but they've simplified it and they've put it as left, right, back, front, floor, ceiling, which makes it a lot easier to remember where you are orientation wise when you're drawing up your tube chassis. Now, if you remember from our blueprint, I told you that this TriStar that you drew on your hand-drawn blueprint, that's where your butt's going. All right, now if we go in and punch some of our dimensions into this, you'll start to see some little dots here be generated. And all we're doing, like I mentioned earlier, is a fancy connect the dot drawing. 